in the Sanatana Dharma, it is said that if you truly respect or revere someone as your teacher or preceptor in this world, you must respect him or her. It is also said that you must respect your father hundred times more than your guru or acharya. However, it is said in no uncertain terms that the reverence that you show to your mother must be at least hundred times more than what you show to your father. Such is the importance of the mother in one's life. Even Sri Shankara, Sri Adi Shankara Bhagavad Pada, whose works were soaked in jnana, bhakti and vairagyam or detachment, was moved to tears when he lost his mother. Such is the importance of one's mother in one's life. Any artist or any student of art will say this, that I was introduced to the arts to my mother. This is what one hears most frequently. Thus, behind every successful artist or every successful human being for that matter, inevitably, most often one notices a dedicated, passionate and devoted mother. On the happy occasion of Mother's Day, Varna proudly yet humbly presents a series of videos in which our Varna moms will be sharing with us and with you all their experiences of being the mom of an artist, daughter or son. They will be sharing the experiences that they have in their children's artistic journey and the emotions that they experience in this long and eventful journey. This series is dedicated to all moms, my mom, all Varna moms and especially to the memory of Srimati V. Madhuri, a Varna mom whom we lost recently. Namaskaram. Thank you. Namaskaram. I am Sahana Dinesh's mother, Priya. Sahana has been learning dance at the Varna Arts Academy for the last several years. From a very young age, Sahana showed a deep interest and passion for dance. There used to be this serial called Mitti Oli on TV and when the title song started, she used to start dancing. In fact, she used to make all of us at home dance along with her. So she used to call my mother-in-law, my father-in-law, party dance, tata dance. And the routine was that we all had to stand around her and dance along with her. Seeing her interest in dance, we decided to enroll her in Bharatanatyam classes with Srimati Smita Madhav at Varna Arts Academy in Hyderabad. In fact, she was one of the earliest students at the academy. Soon after she joined Varna Arts Academy, Srimati Smita provided her an opportunity to appear on stage. This was for the dance collaboration of a dance drama called Alhar Kuramanji. It was with senior artists from Chennai and Hyderabad. Sahana's part was small, but it was a very novel and new experience for her as an artist and for us as parents. So the whole process of wearing the costume, the jewellery, putting on makeup and uh, appearing on stage, it was thrilling for her. But for me as a mother, it was especially a very proud moment seeing my child on stage. The regular dance classes have always been fun. Srimati Smita and Srimati Bhargavi Masilamani take a lot of care in patiently teaching the kids and helping them understand the various nuances in dance. I believe that these lessons that she has learned have helped her grow as an individual. Discipline and hard work are two important things she has learned from dance. Work hard and give your best and leave the rest to Almighty. Sahana is now in her third year of engineering at Chennai. She has continued to participate in dance and dance related activities even at college. This is mainly due to the constant encouragement given by her gurus. She continues her training at Varna Arts Chennai with Srimati Sarveshwari and Sri Bharudi. I am grateful to the Almighty and to her gurus for having given us this opportunity to enrich her life with Bharatanatyam. Sri Gurubhyo Namaha.